No more Mr. Nice Guy. The Chase tomorrow. You have to listen to me. You have to leave. Run, 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 run! Home and away, coming up next. Welcome back. Keeping the family home cool over the hot summer months can lead to hefty power bills. Now, new technology being trialled here in Perth is using groundwater under suburban properties to help lower the temperature inside them. As Sinead Maripodi reports, it could also help the environment. It has benefits for the environment, it has benefits for water use, and it has benefits to your hip pocket. The overall power bill will be much cheaper than it is today. It's energy from the sky and the ground, the new technology designed to slash your power bills. We're seeking to use the, uh, the water temperature in the ground to heat and cool houses in Perth at a way that's going to be much cheaper than people have ever been able to do it before. Landcorp's Cool Earth project is a world first trial, happening right here in the northern suburbs of Perth. It's called the Geo Exchange System. It draws up groundwater to a fan-forced unit that converts the air temperature and is distributed through ducted vents in the home. Use that temperature to heat and cool the home rather than using the air temperature, which might be at 30 to 40 degrees in a Perth summer or close to zero in a Perth winter. So Frank, what's going on? These houses look more or less the exact same. Yeah, this, the two houses have been built identically, except this house behind us has the technology which uses the geo exchange method to heat and cool the home. And what about one here? The other home has a standard reverse cycle air conditioning system which you'd find in a typical Perth home. These two houses are part of a two year trial that will determine the savings between using geo exchange technology and standard technology. We're expecting that we could save up to 50% of the heating and cooling costs of operating this geo exchange system compared to a regular air conditioning system. Once the groundwater has changed the temperature of the home, it can also be reused in the garden. Further than that, we're using water from, um, from a bore within, within Perth. So that means we're not drawing on the water supply that we use for drinking purposes. But the outlay for this technology isn't cheap, costing thousands of dollars. The cost at the moment is relatively high because it's the first of its kind in terms of a trial here in Western Australia. It's the kind of new technology that as, as it gets taken up further and as more, and peop more people know about it, the cost of putting this technology into your home will come down and make, make it more and more affordable. It's not the only energy saving technology on the market. Power saving batteries are slashing bills, even taking homes off the grid. It's a new way of, of actually making use of power and gaining power uh, that's not reliant on the grid. The cost of being off the grid is close to $30,000, but Ray Wills from Future Smart Strategies says it's becoming more affordable. We'll see that number come down very rapidly, and I would imagine uh, at least in the order of 20 to 30 per cent per year. Tesla's wall mounted home battery Powerwall is a 7 kilowatt lithium ion battery designed to charge and discharge each day. Battery is it's just the same way as you plug in your phone, charge your phone up and store energy and use it off, off of the battery of the phone. In WA, around 200,000 homes have solar panels but no ability to store the power. These batteries could be a game changer for the energy industry. What the batteries will allow us to do is take that free daytime energy, store it for a little while and make use of it. For those who already have solar panels, you'd need to install a new inverter first, which costs thousands of dollars. There is no doubt that with the current pricing models, solar is a cheaper way to get electricity into a home uh, than we currently have. So in terms of self-generation through the daytime, solar panels are most certainly a cheaper way of generating electricity for homes. From the sun to below ground, experts believe new technology is the long-term solution to reducing hefty Perth power bills. We're very confident that showcasing this kind of technology provides a window into the future. Shanae Maripodi with that report and results of the Cool Earth trial will be available to the public online via the Landcorp website. May need to seek out air-conditioned buildings tomorrow. It is going to be another hot one in the city. Sam will have details after the break. We've seen a lot of things on MKR.